Hey everyone, it's Joe Joan. Welcome to another Beyblade Burst Turbo unboxing and review. We have more Sling Shock Beyblades. This is Gold X Patromith B4 and Galaxy Zutron Z4. Finally, Galaxy Zutron is part of Hasbro now. All right, so here is the front of the packaging. And a lot of you are asking me for codes. Of course, I will give away codes. It'll be in this video. And take a look at Galaxy Zutron and uh, Batromith B4, even though it should technically be B2. But, uh, eh, oh well. Nice recolor, though. And we got the new Slingshock performance tips down here at the bottom. Here on the back side, we got all the parts and stats for um, each of the Beyblades. So this one's pretty interesting looking. It looks like Flugel, but it's uh, named Gold, was it Gold X. And uh, the power is two. I'm sorry, no, the, the power is four and the speed is two. And for Galaxy Zutron, the power is only one and the speed is five. So it's pretty fast. But this, this performance tip is really, really interesting looking because it's basically liner and uh, kind of transformed for a uh, slingshot. All right, so that's pretty much it. Let's open this Beyblade up. All right, <laughs> checking out this uh, Zutron energy layer, and unfortunately, there are not even metal balls in the energy layer. All right, here we go. Let's start off with Galaxy Zutron Z4. And as mentioned before, this does not have any metal balls. This is just all filled in plastic in here, and like this middle part is empty, which is really unfortunate. I just uh, I, I guess t uh, Hasbro didn't want any metal at all in uh, the energy layers. But there is metal in the wedge slingshot performance tip, so there's that. But still, I, they were, I guess they were shooting for absolutely no metal. But this isn't even like considered like Chozy. This is from like Switch Strike, you know? And uh, it's, I don't know, it's just I don't know why they, they decided to make this into a turbo Beyblade and not even put the metal balls on it. I mean, like, they could have just released this with Evolution. But, uh, anyway, <laughs> that's kind of a disappointment there. But hopefully it'll perform, perform really well. It's, I see that it's got really thick parts on um, this yellow part and the clear part. It's really thick there, so it might do well um, for um, attack. And uh, another thing that I kind of am disappointed with this layer is that the colors are really bland. It's just flat. <laughs> I just remember the original Galaxy uh, Zeus being like really, uh, just like really vibrant. Like the the metal, or, like the yellow was actually brighter. I think it was actually gold. And but yeah, eh, it's just it's basically a huge downgrade, just so that it could work for the Slingshock gimmick. So the forged disc is four. And it does not come with a, uh, not a performance tip, but it doesn't come with a frame. A lot, most of the, or all of the Beyblade turbos don't come with frames because they scrape against the rail rush, uh, the rails in the base stadium are way too much so it wouldn't perform as good. All right, so moving on, we have this <laughs> weird looking driver. This is named TB05S. This is also known as Liner. So I'm going to call it Liner S, S for Slingshock, and it basically has a moving wheel in here. It doesn't move that well, like it doesn't free spin or it, it just like stops after you stop moving it. And uh, the Slingshock activation is very, very funny. It's just, you pull it and twist, right? But look at that, it's just, it's like broken, it looks broken in the middle. There's basically a crack going down. The performance tip. I don't know. It's just very, very strange. All right, let's move on to Gold X Batromith B4. Technically, Batromith B2, because there's nothing like there's nothing like uh, Chozy or Turbo about it. It's basically just the regular Batromith, but colored differently to a golden color. Like this is shinier up here, and here's the code for Batromith. 
comes with six in the forged disc. And this performance tip is called TS11S, which is basically Flugel. So I'm gonna call it Flugel S, because it's got that same propellers there, and it's also got like a sharp tip. And the the switching, the um, slingshot mode, like the locking mechanism is kind of flimsy. I don't like it at all. It's, um, again, there's these two tabs on the side and you just move it over and it becomes flat. But there is, um, well, it becomes loose. Not, I wouldn't say flat, but it comes becomes loose, the tip. Um, and it when you turn it back, it just locks the tip so it stays more stamina. But I don't like the locking mechanism because there's no actual lock, it's just a turn. So it might not stay in slingshot mode like consistently. It, it might move over a little bit. All right, so let's put these Beyblades together. So far, I'm looking at them. I'm not quite impressed. It's just the the performance tips are I don't know. They don't seem very well thought out, in my opinion. Oh, that's really loose. Zutron is okay. All right, so moment of truth, let's do some test spins and test battles. First test launch, Galaxy Zutron Z4, first in normal mode. Now oh, the yellow actually makes it really pop when it's spinning. It just looks like completely yellow. But yeah, because of the liner driver, it's not going to move around a lot. Let's do it one more time. All right, and that's pretty much it. Let's move it to slingshot mode. Now this is going to be really interesting. It's basically got a huge crack in the middle. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. It was able to get up into the rails. Yeah, not as aggressive. It's like, I, I don't even want to call it like a hole flat because it's like a, there's a crack in the middle. It's like, it's more like hole crack. <laughs> I think that's about it for Galaxy Zutron. Let's move on to Gold X Betrometh. All right, so normal mode. And of course, just gonna stay right there in the middle. And I don't think I have to do a second launch for that. And then now let's switch it over to Slingshock. So again, in Slingshock, the tip is not locked in all the way. It, it does droop down a little bit. So it, it, it should still touch the surface of the stadium. It does have like a smoother movement than Liner S, in my opinion. And probably even better balanced. All right, let's move on to a spin, or I'm sorry, a test battle. I'm gonna put both Beyblades in normal mode first, and I'll just do one battle for normal mode, just because it's stamina. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Let it. Basically a stamina battle. Galaxy Zutron, obviously the heavier Beyblade, the thicker one, so it's going to win more um, when it comes down to stamina. Now let's switch it to slingshot mode. 
and do a couple battles with that. Three, two, one, let it. Oh, Galaxy Zutron really wobbly. Oh, look at that, it's still standing up. <laughs> so yeah, this one definitely has a lot more stability than Liner S. First finish, nice. Even though I launched this one uh, a little bit late. All right, one more. And Patromuth gets that on stamina. So, all right, so overall, I think the Flugel S performance tip has better stability than the Liner S one because obviously the crack will like, you know, make it uh, tip over a little bit once it starts to slow down. Uh, the energy layer I'm a little bit disappointed in because it's it belongs with Evolution and not Chosey. So I don't, or I'm sorry, Turbo. So it doesn't seem like it would really. Um, hold up to other uh, turbo Beyblades, but it's still it's it's still okay the, Overall, I don't think this is gonna be my favorite double pack or my, uh, my favorite dual pack Although I do like the colors of Patromyth. <laughs> it's, it's really really cool looking but uh, I again, it's just um, out of the ones that I've, I've Looked at so far. I don't think this is the most um, I'm a little bit more disappointed than this pack than the other one. So that's pretty much it for this unboxing and review. Let me know what you guys think about these two Beyblades. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed, and stay tuned because I'll be doing an official battle right after this. I'll see you guys soon with more Beyblade Burst.